Hello, elementary school children across America and on United States military bases around the world. I'm Michael T. Mondek back with you on, on Labor Day. And this is book number two of four of this special school themed quadruple header where I read what I read to you, your parents, and your teachers. I can't do this without giving you a teaser. And here it is for this second book. For many of you, tomorrow will be the first day of school. And some of you are nervous, but some of you are veterans of this. <clears throat> Let's take you veterans back to you on a time machine ride for you when you had your first day of school ever. You might have had some situations you didn't weren't comfortable with. Well, Grover hap had happened to Grover, and that's the storyline in this book titled Grover Goes to School, a storyline written by Dan Elliott and illustrations by Norman Chartier. Let's get going. Today was the big day. It was the first day of school for Grover and Grover was ready before the sun came up. His mother gave him a brand new pencil box, a new box of big crayons, a lunch box full of jelly sandwiches, and a big hug and kiss goodbye. I will be the only one from Sesame Street, said Grover. But what if no one likes me? His mother smiled. Ah, oh, you just be yourself, she said. You are very lovable. But Grover was not so sure. He walked slowly to school. I will try hard to make everyone like me, he said. At school, the teacher gave all the children a big hello. My name is Mr. Lester, he said. What are your names? One by one, they said their names. Truman, Jill, Molly, Bill. Oh, said Grover to himself. There are so many children. Finally, it was Grover's turn. He stood up and said shyly, I am Grover. I want to be friends with everybody. After all that they had all said their names, Mr. Lester let them draw pictures. He passed out paper and boxes of old crayons. I can use my own new crayons, said Grover. Truman looked at Grover's crayons. Hey, Grover, said Truman. If you give me your, you'll give me your crayons, I'll give you my truck. Grover looked at the toy truck. It was missing three wheels. And Grover loved his new crayons. Oh, dear. He said to himself, Grover said to himself, if I say no, Truman will not like me. So he gave his crayons to children and tried to play with the truck. Bumpity bump bump went the truck. It was not much fun. Soon Mr. Lester said, it's time for milk and cookies, but before you eat, you must clean up. Then Grover had an idea. You can eat right now, he said to the children near him. I, Grover, the cleaner upper, will put everything away. The children ran to the cookies. Thanks, Grover, they shouted. Grover cleaned up all the crayons, the lumps of green clay, and the blocks on the floor. Now I will get my cookies, said Grover happily. But all the cookies were gone. Oh no, we forgot to save a cookie for Grover, the children said. It's okay, I don't mind, said Grover sadly. Soon it was time to play outside. I will ask my new friends to play hopscotch with me, said Grover. 
but they were already jumping rope. You can turn the rope for us, said Jill. Grover did not want to turn the rope, but he said, okay. Finally, it was time for lunch. Grover opened his lunchbox. Truman watched him. If you give me your jelly sandwich, I'll give you my bologna, said Truman. But Grover did not like bologna, but he said, okay. And suddenly tears began rolling down Grover's furry face. Why are you crying, Grover? asked Molly. Because, cried Grover, I do not like this broken truck. I miss my crayons. Did not get a cookie. I do not like jump rope. And I hate baloney. Grover cried and cried. I will cheer you up, said Molly. You want to play marbles? Grover stopped crying. Well, I like jacks better, he said. I do not know how to play jacks, said Molly. Grover started to cry again. Yeah, but maybe you can teach me, Jack, said Molly. Oh, Grover really stopped crying. Ah, yes. I am so happy to teach you. And he really meant it. Molly got up to three. Then it was time to put away the jacks and learn to write. Grover opened his new pencil box. What a neat pencil box, said Bill. Want to trade? Grover looked at Bill's pencil box and then at his own. He thought for a minute. And then Grover shook his head. No, he said. I like mine better. Okay, said Bill. And he was not mad. Grover was so happy. He smiled at Bill. Do you like Jack's? asked Grover. That's my favorite game, said Bill. Mine too, said Grover. After school, Grover, Bill, and Molly played jacks. Then Grover ran home. I have two new friends, he told his mother. What? Two new friends in one day, she said. That is a lot. Sure is, said Grover. And that, boys and girls, ends book number two of four. This quadruple header will continue in a moment. I'll talk to you soon.